Believe it or not, the most important part of video is audio. If you got bad sound, ain't nobody going to be watching. So in this video, I wanted to do a test between several of my mics. Now, right now, I'm using the Rode VideoMic NTG, which is mounted on top of my camera, which happens to be the Canon M50 Mark II, and I have it going via HDMI, so it should sound really good. But I want to see how it stacks up against the Rode PodMic and the Samsung Q2U. Hey there, I'm Kevin Colby, and, and like I said, I, I wanna do a sound test between these mics because I'll be honest, I'm always in search for like the best sound, but if I can save some money, I like that too. So again, what you're listening to now is the Rode VideoMic NTG. It's sitting on top of my camera, it's plugged right into the camera, and since I'm coming out with the HDMI cable, it brings the sound with it. The only downside is, is this mic has to be, even though the camera powers it, it has to be charged up. And so on a recent live stream, I looked up and right before it was time to go live, the, bat the uh, battery was about to die, so I had to switch. So I recently picked up the Rode Pod Mic, and I want to see what it sounds like compared to the one I'd been using, the Samsung Q2U. So let's do some tests. All right, first up, let's try the Rode pod mic. Now, this is a cool little mic. It comes in around 99 bucks, very heavy, but all you get is the mic. In fact, this cable right here, I had to buy extra. I think it's an Amazon's basic cable. I have it going to something called a cloud lifter. And what that does is it makes it louder because just out of the box, cranked all the way up, just isn't loud enough. And then that's going into uh, a box. It's called a Scarlet Solo. It's made by Focusrite. I'll put links down there. And that that is what the interface is to get it into my computer. So what do you think? And now the Samsung Q2U. Again, this is a really cool mic. Believe it or not, it's only around 69 bucks. Now, what's really nice about this mic, it's an XLR and a USB mic. Now, right now, I'm using it as an XLR. It's the exact same setup. It is going into the Cloud Lifter, into the Scarlett Solo. I don't know that I need the Cloud Lifter on this one because everything I've been seeing on the, the, the Rode mic is, it's just not loud enough out of the box. I do know that this mic, as a USB mic, is phenomenal. But I wanted to try it as an XLR just to see what it sounded like. So here it is going through the cloud lifter. I'm gonna disconnect the cloud lifter and just see if there's any difference. All right, so now I've got the Samsung going in. It's it's actually bypassing the cloud lifter. I did do this on the Rode uh, pod mic and I had, the, I had to crank the gain all the way up and it was still very low. This one is probably up about 75% uh, and I think it's still kind of low. So what this tells me is with either XLR or mic, I probably need to run it through something like the Cloud Lifter just to give it more gain. And by doing that, you can back off the level of the mic, which then reduces room noise. So which one sounded best? I don't know. I haven't watched the video back yet, but I can tell you this, whichever one sounds the best, is probably the one that I'm gonna stick with. Now, which one do you think sounded best, including the, the Rode VideoMic NTG, which should sound amazing, but if I was going for the XLR, which one do you think sounded best? Hey, thank you so much for watching this. If you liked it, hit subscribe and maybe a like too, and I'm Kevin, you keep creating, and I'll see you in the next video.